It is back to school, several school districts offering virtual learning as an option. Yeah, second day of August already today, and we're rolling into the new school year very soon. This morning, we thought we would go in-depth, parents, and invited Austin ISD Alejandro Delgado, the Executive Director of Enrollment and Student Advocacy, to give you an idea of what this school year is going to look like. We were just talking during the break, y'all, about how, you know, maybe three months ago, a few months ago, we thought normal school right. year going into it. But Alejandro, that definitely changed. That <laughs> did, that did. That particularly changed when we went to stage four. And thank you so much for having me. Yeah, Sarah, thanks so. for being here. Absolutely. So tell our parents, what will virtual learning look like and what will in-person learning look like? So we're working through all the details still. Uh, what we're excited about is, as you know, on Friday, we launched our virtual option. Uh, we're, we're here to serve student need for any children, child that's not vaccinated. And so uh, on Monday, next Monday, parents will find out if they're, if they're uh, accepted to the virtual option. And uh, virtual orientation is about a week later. I think it's the, thir the 13th yeah. uh, of, of August. And that's it, it actually in that orientation, they'll learn more about what the virtual option will look like. I know they will have uh, a standalone virtual teacher because we will not be having any concurrent teaching as we did last year, which, you know, that's, our teachers worked incredibly yeah. hard last yeah. year, but we want to take a little bit off their plate uh, this year off, off for their already busy schedules. Uh, and so uh, they'll learn more about what, what it will look like then, our parents that, that get accepted into the option. And is it anybody who applies gets accepted to have that virtual option or is it specific students meeting specific criteria and how, how many do you expect you'll end up taking yeah we don't know yet what we saw we saw some we saw demand over the weekend okay. uh, we'll be releasing more data uh, you know as soon as, as soon as we're able to um, but we right now right now we're, we're meeting the student need for and the only eligibility criteria is that they have to be under 12. Okay, because uh, so that is Kate, the that is the great right that you cannot be you're not vaccinated. That's that's you're too correct. Young. That's correct. I have a little one who's in elementary school, and I was telling you guys during the break as well that she was asking me over the weekend. Yeah. We were going back to school shopping. You know, am I going to be able to go in person to school? And my answer to her is yes, but I, as a parent, still I'm asking you. You know, how safe is that for her? Is she going to have to wear a mask every single day? So the vast majority of our parents have said they want in person from K through 12. And uh, we, are, we are expecting and encouraging our staff and students to wear a mask. I mean, what our message is, we're family. We, uh, we expect, we, you know, mask up, get vaccinated. We offer more than, I think, 70 vaccine clinics since April. Mm. Uh, we're going to continue that, our health services team. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have the PPE, the hand sanitizer. We're going to social distance when feasible. Uh, you know, our principals and our campuses are getting ready for outdoor learning, outdoor cafeterias, outdoor eating for lunch. Uh, and so we're, we're, we are, you know, we are um, working to make sure all of our campuses are safe from K through 12. And we're taking every precaution necessary uh, in stage four and if we possibly move to stage right. five. With this virtual option, potentially hundreds, potentially thousands of students are going to want to do this. And I know that money is not not necessarily there coming out of the district's pocket. Is that right? That's right. I mean, we are... Uh, we are we're prioritizing the needs of our community, and so that means we're, we're going to be dipping a little bit into our fund balance for this. But you know, our, we, we've worked the numbers, and, and we think that the, the student health and safety is is of the utmost importance right now. Because we're not getting money from the state. That's correct. That's correct. Last year, the state funded uh, if you were to le you're learning virtually. That's not the case this year. What do those numbers look like when you say we've worked the numbers and we can make it work? So we've seen. Uh, so uh, we're not ready to share that quite yet. We just know that we're ready to meet the, 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 the family need. I can't help but wonder, though, is that going to take away from other programs, other paychecks within AISD, though, when you dip into funds? We don't think so yet. We don't, that, that's not the case. That, that, that we, what we were able to do, some internal analysis, that that's, it's not going to cause any offsets right now. What would you like to say to our parents out there who are watching right now? That we're ready for you. We're excited. School starts on August 17th, whether you're learning virtually or learning in person. And uh, we cannot wait to welcome uh, all 75, 77,000 students to uh, all of our campuses and to our, our Zoom accounts. <laughs> uh, so we're, we're excited to welcome everyone. And it's going to be safe. It's going to be fun. And it's going to be a joyful, it's going to be a great school year. Yeah, well, I'm sure they appreciate your flexibility. I know you guys have a bit of a yeoman's task making it all come together. <laughs> it's been a crazy few um, weeks, but that's our job. Yeah. That's right, that's yeah. right. You're going to release that data to us when? When do you think? We I'll hope, uh, we, we don't have a date yet. The, okay. the application closes on, at, actually on Thursday okay. at 11.59 p.m. And so we're going to be working through that uh, at, the, at the latest early next week. Okay. 
All right. Yeah. Thanks for joining Thanks so us, so much. Alejandro. Appreciate it. Thank you. Right now on KXAN.com, you can find out the changes that your school district is making. Our web team continues to update this list. You can find it by searching under School Districts COVID-19 Protocols.